A little more than four years after a street vendor in Tunisia set himself on fire, triggering the so-called Arab Spring uprisings, the country is voting to choose its first democratically elected president. It's a runoff vote between the country's interim president and interim prime minister after the country's presidential vote last month left both of them short of the required majority. The frontrunner last election was interim prime minister Beji Kaida Sebsi, a veteran politician who served in ousted president Zine El Abidin Ben Ali's regime. The 88-year-old's opponent is Monsef Marzouk, a human rights activist whose support for Islamist groups in Tunisia put him in the sights of Ben Ali's regime, which arrested him multiple times. So the election has been framed as a contest between the Islamists and the non-Islamists, and while that might sound familiar, think Egypt, it's not exactly the same story. Instead of the Muslim Brotherhood, Tunisia has the Anakta Party, which won big in the country's 2011 elections to draft a new constitution. But as NPR's Leila Fadel reports, Anakta stepped down after the constitution was drafted instead of trying to seize power. The best way to describe the Tunisian experience is the experience of consensus and not the experience of conflict. That's Rashid Al-Ghannoushi. He says his party wanted to avoid polarizing the populace like the Muslim Brotherhood did in Egypt. In Akhta's primary competition, Nida Tunis, the party Isebsi founded, which supports a more left-leaning secular platform than in Akhta and has broad support among the country's middle class. Nida won the parliamentary elections the country held in October, and their candidate, Asebsi, is the favorite to win on Sunday. Sunday's vote is the fourth major election the country has held since the 2011 uprising, and so far none of them have seen the violence associated with elections in some of its fellow Arab Spring countries. In the initial vote last month, Asebsi won 39% of the vote, while Marzuki won 33%. For Newsy, I'm Sebastian Martinez.